Hi, I'm Steve Phillips, Media Manager for Rage and Salmo. I'm down on the river today, as you can see behind me. June the 16th just happened this weekend gone. It's looking beautiful down here. The season's just kicking off, everything looks fresh. I've been fishing this morning, but I thought I'd take a little bit of time out from that fishing to talk to you about a trio of jig heads that we've got in the Fox Rage range. They're, they're very well fashioned jig heads, like anything we do at Fox Rage. They're designed for a specific purpose. They're designed for, for you to get more out of your lure fishing. And I thought I'd go over them just to explain exactly how they do that and what they offer the lure angler if they're fishing soft plastics. So here they are. We've got the roll jig head, the eel jig head, and the dart jig head. Now from the names, you're kind of getting an idea of what they might do for your fishing. They've got different designs. You can see different shapes different ways that they'll work under the water and I'll go through each one of those and explain what exactly they're going to give to your lure down under the water. Okay then we'll start off with the roll jig head. As you can see it's got a very specific shape. It's like a rugby ball shape. So what that does instead of having a centered like a round jig head so it centers the mass of the, the weight at the front and gives you an even keel when the lure's traveling along under the water. What this thing does is it pushes that weight out to the side. That's why it's elongated either side, like a hammerhead shark, okay? So the weight's pushed out from the center line. And what that does when the lure wobbles, as they do, they're designed to do with the tail action, what this thing does is accentuates that roll. So the center of gravity of the lure moves and the weight pushed out from that center line, just helps to give an extra wiggle. It really does add an extra dimension to your lure when it's under the water. So on a straight retrieve, as the lure's batting along, the tail's moving along, this thing will give it that extra dimension. All, the, uh, all these jig heads have got extra sharp PTFE coated hooks. That PTFE coating means they slide in a lot a lot more efficiently into the fish's mouth on a strike, gets you better hook holes, better penetration, and then you're more likely to get that fish to the bank or to the boat. They've all got the little lure holders, so when the soft plastic goes on, it stays there, it doesn't slip back down the hook and give you bad presentation. And all the jig heads as well have these 3D eyes stuck to the side with a raid shield. It looks very cool, but it also gives the fish a strike point something that they can, when they're in going in for the strike, something that they can home in on as a point of contact when they hit the lure. The roll head comes in different sizes, many different sizes. As you'll see, I will put the, uh, put the weights down underneath here. It's a very high quality, well-produced jig head. It comes in two colors. You've got the tiger, which this one is, the bright fluoro oranges and yellows and also a natural colour, which is a, a duller brown. So again, as with your lure colour choice, you've got murky water or clear water or whatever the, whatever the fish want on the day, you can, you can change it up and change it around, see what they want. They might strike against uh, the fluoro colours, they might strike against the, the natural colours. And you can contrast that with your lures or whatever, it just gives you options. The main thing with this jig head though, is that action and the action that it gives. That rugby ball shaped head, pushing the mass of the jig head out, just, just to uh, upset the balance of the lure enough. So it gives an extra wiggle. Very, 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 very interesting presentation with that on there. Give it a go. The second jig head to look at is the dart jig head. This is the smallest of the three. It comes in smaller weights, it comes in a range of weights, again, that will be shown underneath here now. So you can get an idea of the weights that you can be applying to your lures with this head. Now, this is designed to give, as the name suggests, a darting action in the water. The planes, you see the planes of the jig head, you've got one flat, flat plane underneath and then two slightly concaved on either side. What that does, the hydrodynamics of that when it's in the water, when you pull it around, it will just slide in random different directions. So if you give it a, a tweak under the water, it will kind of hook into a direction of the water 
and just fast dart that way, give it another tweak, fast dart that way, drop down dart that way. It's, it kind of, the, the planes of the head just give it that direction and, and straight direction, a dart, as it, as it is, it's the best way to explain it, it darts around when you tweak it. Unlike a ball jig head, a standard ball jig head, which uh, is kind of equal on all sides, it will just go up and down and then move wherever you are, but there's no specific kind of uh, line of resistance to uh, push it in any direction. This will be, there'll be less resistance the way it's pointed, if you see what I mean. So if it's pointed that way, it will just break straight through the water resistance and go that way. It'll, the, the beaked point of the, of the jig head and the, those planes along the side and the bottom will just cause it to break through the water resistance and just fire out, dart out in different directions. It's very clever. It's very simple, but it's also very clever. And uh, like I say, they're concaved slightly and rounded at the bottom. So it will enhance that quality, that darting quality that you're after. Again, like the roll jig head, you've got 3D eyes on the side. You've got a, a wire lure holder there, and a very sharp PTFE coated hook. These are superbly sharp. You don't even want to put your finger near them, they're that sharp. Um, get them near a fish's mouth on the strike and you're straight in there, barbed on there. You've got no problems with hook holds and hook penetration. Again, high quality, available in the two colours, the natural and the, uh, the tiger. Just a beautiful little addition. I wouldn't say you use it all the time. You know, you, you, like anything with different lures, different shapes, different actions, you, you keep changing, but this again, just gives you something a little bit different in your arsenal to try. And it, on days where the, the fish aren't having it, perch especially, if, if the, the perch aren't striking and you, and you put one of these on and jig it around, it darts and it just gives that random action and it will just fire them up and get them going and it, it can induce bites when nothing else will. So it's well worth putting a pack of these in, in your lure box and giving them a go when the chips are down or whenever you fancy trying to trying to get those fish into, into striking. Now the third jig head in that range is the eel jig head. Now this is quite a chunky jig head. As you can see from the shape, that's where it gets its name from. It looks like the head of an eel but there is more to it than just the aesthetics of this thing. Again, like the other two, you've got all the same aspects. You've got the PTFE coated hook, very sharp and strong. You've got the lure holder, the wire lure holder to keep your, your lure straight up against the jig head and it won't slide off and ruin your presentation. The two colors and it comes in a range of weights. Again, we'll show that underneath. But what this thing does, if you're fishing deeper water and you want to get your lure down, this thing, just goes down like a torpedo. It's shaped like a torpedo. If you notice the actual hook eye where you um, attach your trace or your fluorocarbon is well back. So you're not positioning it at the front like you might do on a, on a round jig head or on the other two jig heads, which would act to pull the, pull the, lure up, uh, pull the jig head up, uh, pivots there and pulls up when you pull, it pivots towards the back is probably two thirds of the way back along the jig head. So when you're pulling this thing upwards, you've still got a good slope of the, the jig head there, which will help bring it down. So when you drop this thing down, it will just tilt straight down and sink like a stone. And that is the idea. You can get down and then with the pivot point there where your trace attaches, you can keep it working low down. So if you're fishing well, even if you're not fishing in really deep water, if you want to keep that at the bottom on a faster retrieve, that will work. But mainly it's, it's for, for deeper water. So if you're fishing a big reservoir, or you're fishing a big lake, or a deep river out on the boat or something, and you want to get that lure down and keep it down, these are what you're after. They're beautifully intricate. If you look at the, uh, the detail in the head, they do look like an eel head, but that design has a specific purpose, which will help you get more from your lure fishing in the situation that uh, you need it to. Like the other two, a lot of thought has gone into this jig head. And again, it's one of those lures you want in your, your lure box 
for specific situations to get that lure down, get the fish biting, and it can get you out of a jam if you're, you're struggling to get hits. Really nice jig head. Each one of those jig heads, no matter what weight you're buying, comes in a pack of three jig heads. So you get three at a time, give them a go. Try them in the different colours, try them in the different weights, but think specifically about the venues you're fishing, the fish that you're after, and the presentation you want to achieve, and choose out the three, and uh, you won't be disappointed. They really do give that extra dimension to your lure fishing. Very, very clever jig heads, very, very well thought out. Give them a go.